rising beautiful souls i'm on my way to the gun range i'm going with uh, with some with some family family friends with some family friends i'm making this video because i have not i'm not really a social creature right so to me it's actually extremely hard to kind of do these things i caught major anxiety on my way now, when i woke up this morning like the big homie called and i was already feeling funny i definitely i do believe like souls come into your life when 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 it's when it's time not necessarily when you really need them i'm definitely having to shake the anxiety off it can kind of be financial because i feel like uh it's taken away from me actually putting in work but the fact is that i do make money from posting content making videos it's just like i can turn anything into i could turn anything into a money scheme you feel me i gotta stop looking at it so negatively and push myself out there to even create the content and be the content because a lot of you know and i noticed that i'm not that bad at making videos so if i actually just apply myself <laughs> which i've been doing i've been working on content but I think since I relocated, there's been a lot of other things that I've been focused on. So it's just like right now I'm re reorganizing kind of my workflow and kind of what I want to talk about. You know, I want to go into manhood, fatherhood, just stuff to do as a man to keep yourself to keep yourself sane. You know what I mean? So then we got the gun range. And then for me, I love basketball. So then I'm going to go into fitness and basketball. I've already done a lot of fitness and basketball. But I want to talk about it and make videos about it and, and make improvements to myself and, and create goals and record it and document it. And then you know, there's that fitness side and then the man side. Those are the two things that I feel like me, for me personally as a man, those, those two things definitely keep me sane. You know what I mean? And then I can go into nutrition. I'm plant-based vegan. Then there's, there's a whole nother this topic that I can talk about that I can dive deep into. <laughs> Shout out to Dive Deep. But it's 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 kind of dope because then once you can know thyself, then you can start creating content for thyself. And then it, it, it becomes less of a hassle because you can strategize and plan out all your content because you know what you're doing, because you you're doing something with yourself or you're 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 pushing towards a goal. All you gotta do is document it and talk about it. Right, and the right souls are gonna come. I was, I, I, start, I just started. I just started my new YouTube page, and I'm already at 134 subscribers. And shout out to every single soul that subscribes to my channel, because I don't know where they come from. All different walks of life, you know. So, I just want to give myself a little shout out for even most of the. So most of the time, I feel like when things like this occur and I and I get anxiety or I feel weird about going out and 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 doing something that I deserve to do just from a, a relax as a man standpoint because I do I do feel like I, I, I put in a lot of work but I, I I deserve that little bit of or something that that make me feel good about myself we all we all deserve that I do feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. It's a lot of society pressure. And I do still kind of battle with it because you will realize money is fugazi. I say having money is like fugazi, but ownership or, or, or being able to pass things down to your children, those are, those are massive, massive accomplishments that you come with. That, that come with putting in work or that come with understanding the formula and then being able to strategize and produce it and reproduce it. I see what I'm capable of, but me as a me as a being, being a Virgo, if you want to dive into astrology, I, I like to focus on work. Like, I, I, I definitely notice like I'm in the phase where I don't even really care about getting none. Like, I don't, it's, it's not even... It hasn't been on my radar. It don't even be in my thought process because I be having so many goals that I'm trying to meet now. But I want to make a video on the way there just so I can I can process what's going on. Uh, it's a lot of beautiful things that's coming to fruition. I'm just uh, I'm just excited to be a part of it. I'm just excited to be alive. Fatherhood it, it could just take a toll. That's why I say 
Don't be out here just willy nilly, cause your children will ask. And I'm I'm definitely an honest parent. <laughs> I'm an honest parent. Sometimes too honest. I was like sometimes so I have to sit back and think about some of the stuff that I be telling my kids. And I'm like I wonder if they gonna be hurt if I say it like that. <laughs> it typically yes, especially dealing with girls. <laughs> I didn't finish my video from yesterday, but yeah, went to the gun range. I enjoyed myself. It was extremely fun. Some things that I had forgot. Definitely some classes that I want to take so I can become um, more, more like a cowboy, more proficient when I pull that thing. But no, it was extremely fun. The gentleman I went with, they made it. It wasn't, they didn't feel any type of way. So normally when my anxiety acts up, it's definitely just me. When you realize that you can start knocking down some of those, uh, those, those walls that you keep up to make you feel kind of awkward in certain situations. I guess the reason why I got into, I've always been into guns, um, but in Cali, in Cali, you're not really, uh, unless you have them in your house, and that's when, like the process is, is it can get, it can get kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the necessary paperwork, but it's not hard if you have your life together to, to, to purchase something to protect your home, right? But in a lot of states, I would say like the carry conceal, ECW in particular, is really uh, what I've always been interested in. It was always weird to me how in LA, police officers, military, they can they can get approved to carry conceal. And it's, in, it's like an LA county. So in, in, in LA county, because a lot of the riots and a lot of the stuff that was going on back in the day, they eliminated LA County folk from easily getting a CDL, <clears throat> easily getting a, a, a carry concealed license, CCW, being able to CCW, I guess that's how you say it, being able to carry concealed, being able to carry a carry concealed weapon. But in Irvine, if you move to Orange County, you automatically get approved. And that's just weird to me, not that big of a deal. But then it's just like, if you want to carry concealed and live in Cali, you got to live in the Orange County area away from LA and the pricing for that LA is expensive then you got Orange County like Irvine area in this like now that I'm gonna be frequently leaving and not really coming back I'm looking at like some of the other states when it comes to some of the, the rules and I like the other states you like how, I like how there's this set up from a protection standpoint it makes you feel kind of more safer I always like dogs so that was kind of my idea of protection. I mean, having dogs, having dogs um, inside and outside the house and having a couple automatics, an AR or two, a couple shotguns, maybe a rifle, you know, rifle or two. But I've always heavily been interested in it. And I was like, I get to do it, but it's an expensive ass hobby. I'll finish my rent just by saying, if you never had any issues with the law and you're able to carry it, and you're able to purchase and you're able to take classes and, and legally have your paperwork straight, have your paperwork straight and you're not clinically insane. Get a firearm. Learn how to use that firearm. Keep a couple of them in the house. This is just a weirdo video, but this is on the side of like protection. Uh, it was a couple things that I, I had saw that happen, um, that I see that happen actually quite frequently with some of the fields that I wanted to get into. A real estate agent, I believe in the Maryland area, lost his life uh, after he bought a property. I don't know what area it was in. I mean, just from a, a business owner standpoint, a lot of people that's in the real estate industry and things like that. And um, I, I mean, I've heard stories of even in the trucking industry, there's a lot of industries where it's like, I personally feel like it's like black on black attacks. I don't know why, but it just definitely feels like like, you can't really get it together when it comes to not killing each other. I don't really know why. And it's just, like, it's enough resources on this planet for everybody to eat. You know what I mean? It's enough knowledge, it's, it's enough free knowledge for everybody to gain more knowledge to be able to better themselves. I feel like it's enough information on the planet for that. And when it's just, when you hear about a young black man that loses his life over his profession, it was buy a house. It just seems like you just have to protect yourself and be discreet about it. Just make sure you're on your toes at all times, pretty much. That's it.